The Prime Minister announced that lethal weapons and non-lethal aid will be sent to the Ukraine in response to the threat of a Russian invasion. Uh, Mr Speaker, I can announce to the House that in light of the increasingly threatening behaviour from Russia and in line with our previous support, the UK will shortly be providing a further package of military support to Ukraine. Boris Johnson said the UK has already sanctioned nearly 300 Russians and banks with assets of £37 billion. The PM said more sanctions will follow and will be a coordinated action with the US and EU. We will be stopping Russia. We will be stopping Russia from raising sovereign debt, stopping companies, Russian companies, from raising money, and stopping Russian, uh, uh, Russian companies, as I said yesterday, even clearing uh, in sterling and dollars on, on international markets, uh, Mr. Speaker. That will hit Putin where it hurts. But it is Kill Starmer. Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer said his party will support more sanctions and that the UK needs to do more to stop Putin's lies and disinformation. Russia today is his personal propaganda tool. I can see no reason why it should be allowed to continue to broadcast in this country. So will the Prime Minister now ask Ofcom to review its licence? The PM said Culture Secretary Nadine Doris has already asked media regulator Ofcom to review the matter. But, but what I will say, Mr Speaker, is that, is that we live in a, in a democracy, Mr Speaker, and we live in a, a country that believes in, in free speech. And uh, I think it's important that we should leave it up to Ofcom rather than to politicians to decide which media organisations are to ban. That's what Russia does. SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford accused the government of failing to tackle corrupt Russian money flowing into the UK and accepting donations from Russians. The truth is that Russian oligarchs who give the right people in power a golden handshake have been welcomed into London for years. Their activities weren't stopped. They were encouraged. The Prime Minister denied his party accepted dirty money. Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I just think it's very important for the House to understand uh, we do not raise money from uh, Russian oligarchs. Uh, people, who, people who give money to this... To this to this, they, they are, they, we raise money uh, from people who are registered to vote on the UK Register of Interest. And that is, that is, how, that is how we do it, Mr Speaker. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said the UK has 1,000 personnel on standby. In unguarded comments, he said that the Scots Guards had kicked the backside of the Russian Tsar in the Crimean War and we can do it again. He also said Putin has gone, quote, full tonto over Ukraine while chatting with serving military personnel. Britons are already feeling the impact of the crisis with fuel prices reaching new highs. The RAC said the average cost of a litre of petrol at UK forecourts on Tuesday was almost £1.50 and diesel nearly £1.53. It warned drivers to expect petrol prices to hit the grim milestone of £1.50 per litre in the coming days as retailers pass on rising wholesale costs. Trevor Piper, NTD News.